Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we are touching on a few things, mostly focusing on Princess Anna. So it's actually her birthday, so we are at the very tail end of her birthday party. I didn't think it was necessary for you guys to see the whole thing, because I want to focus on some other stuff in this video as well. So she's just going to put her birthday candles on, and then we are going to blow out her candles. Um, so a few things we want to focus on with her. Well, okay, why don't I let her age up first? She's kind of just standing there, looking around. Everyone's like, okay, okay, there we go. Okay. Cool. So now Princess Anna has aged up. Um, so we get to pick another trait for her, and I am thinking that she's going to get the jealous trait just because she has been told so much by her parents. Oh, she also got the good manners and responsible trait. Um, so she's just been told so much by her parents that, like, she isn't as good as her sister um, and all this stuff. And she's still really close with her sister. I think she is secretly jealous, but I think that could have made her jealous, like, of easily jealous of other people too. I don't think it just has to be from her sister. Um, so we're going to make her into the jealous trait. So now we have her as jealous, but also cheerful, uh, self-absorbed, and her goal is to be a muser. I didn't know that. I should be to be an actress. Like, oh, okay, so being or wanting the actress, good actress, what is it? Wanting the master actress aspiration will give her the muser um, trait. So that's fine. Uh, so Princess Alice is now a young adult. So all the kids have aged up. Oh my gosh, this is like a huge milestone. Yes, everyone's celebrating. Um, because we started this series with all three of the kids and Princess Anna was either, she was either just a baby or just, a I think she was a baby when we started. So now she's a young adult, guys. This is huge. It's going to be an even bigger milestone. This is really sad to think about, but when all the, uh, all the kids, when King Henry and Princess Cora and Princess Anna, when they all pass away, that's going to be even more sad. But that would have been like a complete, pretty much, life cycle for this series. So, anyway, uh, we are going to... all oh, King George, her father, the ghost, gave her a gift. It should be arriving in the mail soon. Okay, she got a lot of gifts, actually. I had to remake the cake too, as you see, there was one here, yep, there was one here, um, and I was leaving it out and about to put birthday candles on it, and then someone, like, calling out Prince Edmund here, he took a slice of cake before we were even going to blow out the candles, or even put on the candles for that matter. Um, so, we are actually going to, the main part of this episode that I want to focus on is King Henry, Queen Alice, and Princess Anna, and maybe we will bring along Princess Amira. Uh, we're going to introduce ourselves to some of the noble families of Brindleton Bay, because I think it's important for them to do that. Um, and we hear, there's a rumor, that one of the royal families is, I believe it is, I think it's the Earl. Yeah, I think it's the Earl, his family. They have a son that is just a little bit older than Princess Anna, and I think that they would get along really, 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 really well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and travel to meet them. Also, Queen Alice is still pregnant. She is not having her baby. Well, she I think she just got into the third trimester, so she actually might end up having her baby by the end of this episode. We're going to have to see. So we're going to travel, even though it's 4.30 in the morning, it's fine. We're going to travel to Brindleton Bay to meet some of these royal families. And I'm going to meet the family that I'm talking about first. They are, I think, the Earl of Brindleton Bay. Why don't we just check? They are, they live here. They, so they're, they were the Cody family. I actually didn't change this. Can I change this? I can't change this here. Wait, can I? Uh... No, I can't. That's fine. Um, so they are the, let's see, Earl? Earl, I was right. Okay, the Earl of Brindleton Bay. So we are going to go visit them. Although the person we want to see is not actually there. He's at the Brindleton Yacht Club. Maybe he will hopefully be home by the time we travel because I want to meet all of them. So we're going to go with our household and we can bring Princess Amira. Um, so here we go. 
So here we are at the Earl of Brindleton Bay's home. So we already, oh, it looks like the, yes, Sir Marshall, that's who I wanted to meet. So we are going to introduce uh, introduce ourselves to him. Enchanting introduction. Is that supposed to be like a flirty introduction? I'm not sure. We just want to be polite to everyone because one perk is that it increases your friendship with them by like a ton. It's amazing. You're like automatically friends if you do it. Yeah, you are automatically good friends. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've never seen the friendship go up by that much during a play introduction. I wonder if the game just like knows who you click with. So they're like, oh, here, like we will have this person go up by this many friend points. It's not called friend points. I don't know what it's called. Um, oh, okay. No. I thought for a second Princess Anna had already met him, but it does not look like she has. So, Sir Marshall, wait, why did, did, I didn't see, like, flirty as an option. We reached the charisma level. That's good. Okay, there it is. Romance. So we are, we're good. Um, so I'm just now realizing this house is unfinished. I've never actually been here, clearly. So I need to fix this house um, because I don't want the whole outside to be unfinished. I downloaded this one from the gallery too. So yeah, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what wallpaper and stuff to choose for this. I'll have to figure something out. If it didn't have like the, like, you know, the nails and the steel thing, like the clearly unfinished wall, it might be okay. Because the white looks okay, but it's it's it needs it needs help. Um, so we are going ahead inside. Everyone is really soaking wet from the rain. Our little princess Amira is just trying to get through. She's like, wait up, someone help me! Oh wow, she's walking already. I haven't even taught her to walk. I'm pretty sure toddlers walk even before you teach them to walk. Because I remember in The Sims 3, they wouldn't walk until you actually taught them to walk, which was pretty cool and very realistic. But it's not like that in this game, I feel like. Um, so, Princess Anna, she... Let's just kind of meet everyone. So, we can do friendly introduction, a polite introduction. We want to be polite to everyone. Uh, Queen Alice needs to introduce herself. Whoa, what happened? She needs to also introduce herself to everyone. So we kind of just want to get to know as many people as possible. I probably won't go through meeting the other families with you guys, or at least I'll do it really quickly, because I don't think you guys need to see, like, all of that. Um, also, it might take too long to introduce herself to everyone, so I won't do that. I'm going to focus on Princess Anna and getting a man because, not that she needs one, of course, but, oh, she's an adult now, so we, she can join the acting career if she wants to. I still haven't decided, like, it would be so, not out of character, but it would just be so not really going with the whole theme if she became an actress, I feel like, but she's different, that's for sure. Um, I also don't want to have to, like, focus on her going through the acting career with you guys, because that's not the main focus of our series. Um, all right, we're gonna have her flirt with him. Um, so, I don't know yet. I don't know. I think I will think about having her join. I won't have her join just yet, because I think she would still have to convince her brother um, that it's a good idea. I mean, her parents aren't around anymore, so she could really not do whatever she wants, but she doesn't have to listen to them. Oh my gosh, Sir Marshall just scared Queen Alice. She's pregnant, okay? You do not want to make a pregnant woman's heart jump like that. Jeez. All right, Princess Alice, stop hogging. Or Queen Alice. Oh my gosh, I'm still going to do that. Ugh. Okay, yep, go to work. Um, and then King Henry can also go to work. And then Princess Anna will spend the day with Princess Amira, her niece, as she flirts with another man. Um, Princess Amira is just sitting on the couch by herself. She's eating food. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. She's adorable. She is adorable. Well, no, I don't know where she went. There we go. Yeah, she's super cute. She's playing with her food on their nice white couch. 
It was not making a good impression. Um, but she's, you can, like, kind of already, t- I don't know if toddlers, I guess they don't all look alike, like, but they look more alike than the adults. Like, you never really know how they're going to look, I guess. But she's really cute and she's really pretty. So I'm excited, and it's kind of cool that she has, like, the blue eyes and blonde hair like her father. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the other kids are going to look like, too. So, um, Princess Anna, is she flirting? She is flirting. I don't think we should flirt in a group, though. Maybe we will go over to the couch. Oh, well, I was going to say because of Princess Amira and we need to watch her, but... Princess Amir left. Uh, so it looks like she's just waddling off to find... Oh, her father! Oh, oh no! What? She just put that plate on the counter by herself. It just floated up there. It looks like she, like, threw it up and it landed perfectly. This is a talented baby, you guys. So Queen Alice is picking her... Is Queen Alice taking her home? Where are you going? She is taking her home. She's going to work with her daughter. All right, that's fine. I don't think she should carry her when she's that pregnant, but that's fine. So it looks like they are leaving Princess Anna here. Um, I was going to have her talk to Sir Marshall, but I don't know where he went. I see the Earl is here. We should probably meet him too, but I really want to focus. Okay, there we go. I want to focus on Sir Marshall. So we're... No, where are you going? What? Play in the rain. What? Why? All right. Princess Anna, just flirt with this guy. You guys already have a great friendship. Did the friendship go down? Is that just me? Am I imagining things? I think I am. Um, so we are going to have her flirt. She now has the umbrella. Okay, I was going to say, if she's keeping the umbrella on inside, I do not know what is going on with this game. So they're going to, she's going to offer gratitude to Sir Marshall. I know it's because we did a polite introduction, but they are hitting it off so well. Like, better than any other guy she's been to. Aw, oh, her aunt is asking her to breakfast. Her aunt's not even an elder yet. That's interesting. So, isn't that in El, El Salvador? El, no, I don't know what the world is called. The Jungle Adventures world. Uh, oh, whoops, I forgot to answer her. That's fine. We're flirting with a man right now, anyway. Uh, oh, okay, we already have some... some flirtation points, if you want to call it that. Some romance level? Uh, it looks like he's going to the bathroom, so we won't interrupt him while he's doing that. He just looked, I don't know if you guys saw that, but he just got so excited as he was peeing. Uh, so yeah, we won't watch him go to the bathroom. Uh, I'm going to, did I already, uh, exchange numbers? I think I did. We're gonna do a bold pickup line because Princess Anna is feeling real confident, guys. She is very confident. Lady Olivia Willow, thank you. Thank you for congratulating me. Look how confident she is! I know it's because of the celebrity walk, but still. Sir Marshall needs to meet her out here. She's still in her party outfit, too. Like, she looks so cute in this. Where is she going? Are you going upstairs to flirt with him? What is happening? I swear, I knew she was going to do that. I knew she was going to sit down and get back up and go back downstairs. Who is, what? Is this the Earl? He is sleeping on the couch. She was probably about to go introduce herself, but then was like, nah, I'm going to go flirt. Okay, so we are flirting in the bathroom. <laughs> that doesn't seem like an ideal place to flirt. Why don't we travel over to the sofa? Um, romance compliment appearance but then let's go sit and chat on the couch why can't i sit and chat to what what is happening why does he keep leaving don't leave you have to flirt with us princess anna come on step up your game seriously you know what we're gonna ask him on a date because then there won't be as many distractions so i'm going to ask him out on a date and then maybe he'll just focus on us and stop like just walking away from us oh my gosh guys i just saw this in here <gasps> oh my gosh do you see these disney princesses i i'm obsessed with disney princesses guys like 
This is amazing. Can I steal their artwork? <gasps> I have to have this. Large painting from reference. How in the world do you do this? How do you do this? <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. I have to take these because I want these in our house. I need to have these in the castle. These are amazing. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm going to 100%. I need to find... Oh, I don't even remember where I got this house from though. In the gallery. <gasps> oh, I have to find the house in the gallery so I can credit you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to try to find the house and I'm going to put it in the description if I find it. I hope I do because this person deserves so much credit. This is amazing. I'm I'm just in shock right now. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, let's get back to Princess Anna. Okay, so we are going on our date with Princess Anna and Sir Marshall. Um, and I'm trying to think of a place. Do we want to go somewhere in Brindleton Bay? This is the restaurant that uh, their family owns, uh, that the Earl of Brindleton Bay, his family owns. Uh, there is a Brindleton Bay Park. We could go there. That, it has a romantic aura, so we have to. Okay, so we were on our date. I realized that it was raining, so it's probably not the best idea to go to a park because they might get super tense. But look, oh my gosh, this is tiny. My goodness gracious, this lot is so small. And it doesn't really, honestly, okay, I didn't realize this when I placed it. That when I placed it, it does not match like the whole dock thing, so I should probably replace this with something else, but I'll do that later. Um, so we are going to get flirty with Sir Marshall here. Um, hopefully there's not too many distractions going on around here. So we want to flirt with him a little bit more. Let's, um, let's compliment his appearance because he is very good looking, let's be honest. Um, all right, do a pickup line. There are a lot of people here. Who's this? This Mindy Jack. She's a fan. All right. Kenzie Joe. Um, and then, let's see. Okay, there's this giant lantern with a bow. Oh no, people are taking pictures of us. I forgot that's what happened when you got in public. Okay, he's talking to other people. Seriously? Uh, oh no, I'm awful at controlling this camera, apparently. Okay, well, he's not paying attention to us. Uh, flirt some more, and then... Why don't we sit? Why don't we? Why don't we? Can we? Mm, is there enough room for two people on here? Sit and chat here. And then maybe he will focus on us a little bit more. Oh, okay. Oh, no. No, don't get up. You guys are already sitting together. That's fine. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a bench over there. Let's go there. Away from the people, please. Where are you going? No, no. Okay, I thought she was waving bye to him because he was leaving, but he can't leave because we're on a date. Who are you talking to? Why? He's excited about something. Probably Princess Anna. Let's be honest. He's on a date with a princess. That's amazing. Um, okay, so he needs pristine reputation. Really? Princess Anna, you're doing well. A pristine reputation. I thought that she wouldn't have a good reputation, honestly. I mean, she's flirty. I, is she dating? No, she's not dating Sir Derek yet, but she's very flirty with a few other guys. So, okay, they are standing next to this little old gnome man. Um, that is, like, kind of ruining the moment. Why don't we do a sexy pose? I don't know if you can do that with an umbrella, but you can certainly try. Um, we are going to... Why do you have to stand up to do these things? Really? Sir Marshall's a genius? Well, that's good. Uh, we're gonna ask a risque question. And then this kid is in front of us, blocking our view. She's probably going to ask for an autograph or a photo or something. All right, you need to get out of the way. Can we ask her to leave? Is that mean if we ask a child to leave? Uh, I can't ask her to leave. They're probably like, don't be mean to children. Okay, we need to get somewhere with him. Why don't we do a first kiss? Can we have that now? Because we'll stand up to do that. She's flirting with the child? Who are you flirting with, Princess Anna? 
Okay, so they're now having their first kiss. Yay! Alrighty. That was cute. Oh, that was pretty quick, actually. I love this dock, too. Alright, there's still a child standing right here. Like, she watched that entire thing super close. I don't... What? Look at this child! What is this? Oh my gosh. Is she part of this conversation or something? Because she... Oh, and she just walked right through us. Oh, aww. Princess Anna hugged her. She's so good to her fans. That is so cute. Oh, I was being mean. Now I feel bad. Princess Anna was nicer than I was. <laughs> I was just trying to get her out of the way. All right, now it's an awkward encounter. Now it's a steaming exchange. It's changing really fast. You probably don't want to flirt when a child's right here, but I cannot get her to move. Like, you, you're you really cute and you're really sweet, but can you please, if we sign her autograph, will she leave? All right, Princess Anna, you're going to have to, oh my gosh, maybe I should not have gone out in public. There is now a screaming woman, which I'm, <gasps> Oh, I thought I killed her for a second. Oh my gosh. I got really scared. Okay. Oh, now everyone's like, oh, she's signing autographs. I'm going to gather around until she signs mine. Great. All right. Well, we have had our first kiss. If I go where there's too many people here. Oh, I regret making everyone famous now. It's just realistic, though. I mean, this is how people would react to a princess if she was out in public. They probably shouldn't have gone out in public. I'm going to ask Sir Marshall to be our boyfriend because, I mean, Princess Anna has never rushed into really anything. But I think that they would, I don't know, they're getting along so well. Like, better than anyone else. Oh my gosh, did you see him pop his foot when they took the picture together? That was hilarious. Anyway, yes, I think they're getting along better than anyone else that Princess Anna has got along with. And now they're boyfriend and girlfriend. So this is actually uh, Princess Anna's first, like, official relationship that she's gone exclusive with. Um, so that's that's actually a really big deal. We should probably tell Sir Derek that we... Try for baby in a bush. Well, that's not classy. Uh, we should probably tell Sir Derek that we are not interested. I don't know. Or maybe Princess Anna would keep her options open with that. Who knows? Um, but I'm going to end this episode here. So now we have a new man in the, uh, in, in, in the horizons, in the science. I don't know what that figurative language was. Um, okay. And now Sir Marshall is flirting with us. Um, so I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, tell me if you, what you guys think of Sir Marshall, if you think that he's good for Princess Anna. I mean, his family, they're really, they have a good reputation. They are still fairly new, um, but they do have a really good reputation. They own like a bunch of restaurants, so they're super wealthy. Um, and I think Princess Anna would have more room to be an actress if she were to marry Sir Marshall because his family isn't like political or anything like that. So let me know if you like this episode and please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment any suggestions and we will see you guys the next episode.